MG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you. OMG with the Dollar General haul. I know. I never come to you with the Dollar General haul during the week. I only go to Dollar General on Saturdays. I don't care if there are glitches. I don't care what the deal is. I only go on Saturdays. <laughs> but I'm coming to you. It's actually Thursday night when I'm filming this. I'm coming to you on Friday. You're going to see this on Friday with a Dollar General haul. I have a little story time for you first and I'll tell you why I went to Dollar General on a Friday. Um, if you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, I sure do appreciate you. Thanks for coming back to another video. Um, okay, so little story time. We decided to order dinner tonight from our favorite Mexican restaurant in town. It is so delicious. We order from there maybe once a month, sometimes twice a month if we're feeling like we really want it. The food is delicious. Um, they're slow as molasses. I'm, I'm gonna be real. If they say my pickup order will be ready in 25 minutes, I know that probably means 40 minutes. However, I know they're probably going through the same thing that every other business is going through with being short staffed. So it's totally fine. I don't mind it at all. I've just kind of got acclimated to, if they say 25 minutes, I wait a little while and I go at 40. They always forget something in my order. Usually it's not that big of a deal. Um, they're about 15 minutes from my house, so not that far away, but they're delicious. My girls love their food. So I ordered it tonight. I was so looking forward to my tacos. I ordered two tacos for dinner, so excited and some rice and of course some chips and salsa. And um, I got there after about, I don't know, 35 minutes and I had to wait about 10 minutes for my order, which is fine. And I got home and unpacked my bags and guess what? No tacos, not a dang one. My dinner was two tacos and they didn't put either one of my dang tacos in the bag. Everybody else's food was there, thank goodness. My side of rice was there. <laughs> no tacos. You know I always tell you to search for gratitude because even when things go wrong, uh, there is always something to be grateful for. And let's just be real, in the grand scheme of life, me missing two tacos really is not that big of a deal. But I was mad. I wanted my dang tacos. I talk about gratitude so much on this channel because I need the reminder too. I am human. I get impatient. I get mad. I was like, oh my goodness. I was so looking forward to they, those dang tacos and they did not put my dang tacos like I have no dinner. So I called them and I said, you forgot my tacos. And they said, oh, we're so sorry. Would you like to drive up here? I said, no, I would not like to drive up there. I ordered an hour ago and uh, it's 15 minutes away. I'm not driving back. I said, thank goodness my children's food is here because I would have went back if it was my children's food. But I said, I'm just bummed because I didn't get my dinner. My dinner was the two tacos and I didn't get it. So of course they're just giving me a credit for next time, which is totally fine. But I had to really search for the dang gratitude. And then you know what happened? What happened was uh, I ended up eating my dang rice and chips and salsa for dinner. That was my dinner. I miss my dang tacos. What happened was I logged into my Dollar General accounts. OMG, I got a 3 out 15. I've been couponing at Dollar General probably about 18 months now. Never ever got a three off 15. I just figured I'd never, was never gonna get one. One of my accounts got a three off 15. I was so dang excited. So we're going to the DG. We're gonna do the little bit glitch. I'm gonna get my free dial bar soap, not bar soap, body wash, and I'm gonna incorporate another deal. And I am so excited. I will also be bringing you a Saturday Dollar General haul where if you caught my Dollar General haul last Saturday, 
on two of my accounts, I use those awesome coupons where if you spend 20 on PNG products, you earn a $5 off your next 501 purchase. I've watched a few videos. I think I know how to use those coupons and mix them in with my five off 25. We're gonna test it out and see. So let's head into Dollar General now and grab some awesome deals. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. I'm still a little mad about my dang tacos. I wanted my tacos, but the three off 15 made up for it a little bit. All right, let's head into the store. All right, here we are in the DG, and I am so excited. I'm going to be using my very first three off of 15. So my first plan was to take advantage of the Snuggle products. Um, it includes more than Snuggle, but I'm grabbing Snuggle. They are on sale two for eight, so $4 each. And they have an instant savings promotion of spend 15 save three dollars instantly so i'm gonna grab two of these scent shakes and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these big liquid snuggle fabric softeners so at four dollars each i have a total of 16 dollars in snuggle products here so i will save three dollars instantly at the register i have a three dollar off two digital coupon that will attach to two of them and then I'm going to use this $2 off one paper coupon for my scent shakes and a $1.50 paper coupon for the other liquid snuggle. So that would drop me down to $6.50 for these four products before my three off 15 even comes off. And we're going to get a little bit of overage with the glitch. All right, we're going for the awesome freebie. Well, it's a penny. Uh, on the dial body wash they're four dollars each so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of them that's gonna total me eight dollars i have this dollar general store coupon for buy one get one free on the body wash it will take off three dollars and 99 cents because it is a store coupon and then i'll use this paper manufacturer coupon because you can pair both together for buy one get one free that will take off four dollars so that'll drop me down to just one penny for both of these body washes all right i saw this crazy bic glitch over on crazy couponer uh, or crazy coupons where the store coupon seems to be multiplying more than it should so i'm gonna test it out and grab some bic products um, these Bic Extra Bold are on sale for a dollar each, so I'm going to grab two of those. And then these Bic Gelosity pens say that they're $2.50, but they're actually $2. So I'm going to grab two packages of these. And then the regular old Bic pens in the bag, these are on sale for a dollar this week. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab two more of the Bic extra bold i think just because the packaging is new i want to grab those so i have ten dollars worth of bic products because we have a dollar general store coupon of spend ten dollars save two and i'm going to pair it with four of these two dollar off two bic coupons so with eight dollars in manufacture coupons and saving two dollars on that store coupon that would make these big products all totally free but that store coupon seems to be glitching and giving back more than two or giving off more than two dollars all right i have 34 dollars in product here this is higher than i get my saturday five off 25 totals let's see how low we can get this uh, stick around to the debrief because everything didn't work out exactly as I had planned, but it still was an amazing transaction. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over this receipt. All right, we are back at the kitchen table. I mean, it looks small, but like I said, I had $34 in product here, which even after the instant savings of $3 coming off on the Snuggle products was still $31 which is higher than I get my dollar or my Saturday transactions. So I got some great snuggle products here. I got some more big products and some dial body wash. I had a little issue, which I, I should have known better. I wish Dollar General did this different because I have some stores that this works perfectly fine and other stores where it just doesn't work, period. So let me know if you have this issue as well. 
Now, first off, I will tell you, um, the three off 15 was not in my regular coupons. I only got it on one account. If you go to, I think it's called like deals and coupons or something, I'll pop a screenshot up for it. And you click on, it's like personalized deals or something like that. That's where it was. And even after I clipped it, it did not move over to my clipped coupons. It stayed in that area. So if you're not used to checking that area, make sure you check that area. All right, so let's just take a look at the receipt here. <clears throat> There's my snuggle. It rang up for 450. This was my issue. I hate that Dollar General does these sales as a store discount instead of just making them four dang dollars. So you'd see two store discounts below each one. One discount is my three off of 15. The other discount is my $3 of instant savings. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll give you an overview so you can take a screenshot. If you're like me, I like to add the math up. <laughs> I, of course, have already added the math up. So these did not ring up for me. I should have seen one more store discount under these to take that extra 50 cent off, and you can see there's only two. So they rang up 50 cents higher for me, which is two dang dollars for four products. That's a lot. So my $2 paper coupon attached to my scent shakes. I had the cashier scan a scent shake, and then I had her scan a... Um, liquid fabric softener. And then there's my liquid fabric softener and you can see two store discounts and my $1.50 coupon attached. Then I had her scan my two um, Bic Gelosities at $2 each. There's one of the $2 coupons and then, um, or yeah. And then there is the store discount that $2 off 10. It took off $1.99 off this one. Then I had her scan uh, the dollar products. My $2 coupon came off. The 99 cent discount came off. The dollar big um, product, my $2 coupon came off. Another dollar big product, 99 cent discount came off. So now we're at $3.97 that came off for the big, which was supposed to be $2 off when you spend 10. There's my $1 um, last a bic with my two dollar coupon and then my next one dollar did not have a um it rang up as a store discount of zero so it didn't take any extra money probably because my three off of 15 attached what i had seen on crazy couponers and i had seen on some other videos i have watched since then was that the one after the coupon was taking off the discount. I'm wondering now if I would have just bought more of the expensive ones, would it just have continued to take off the $1.99 store discount? I kind of want to go test it again. Um, so that is my three off 15 coming off. There's my next Snuggle Scent Shakes with my two store discounts. One is the three off 15, one is the save $3 instantly. When you spend 15 on those products, there's my $3 digital coupon. There's my last one for $4.50 with the two store discounts. There's my dial body wash with my $4 paper coupon and my other dial body wash with the store um, buy one, get one free coupon. So my subtotal was $3.54 for this. I was expecting it to be around $1.50 because that's $2 that I didn't get off. They were supposed to be on sale two for eight. After missing out on my dang tacos and then this transaction not going exactly like I wanted it to go, I was like, what the heck? But then I looked at this. My total savings was $32.46. Holy crap. I saved $32.46. How can I be mad? $3.54. I grabbed 14 items. All right. So this was my very first three off 15. It didn't work out exactly like I had planned it to work out. 
because of not getting the actual sale price for my snuggles, but all of my coupons worked fine and I did get the Bic Glitch, which is awesome. If it's still working tomorrow, it would be great to add in to a five off 25 for a super duper low out of pocket. Now I will be bringing you my five off five, my five off five, my five off 25 tomorrow. If you watched my last week's haul, I earned a $7 off my next 701 purchase and a $5 off my next 501 purchase coupon on PNG products that I'm going to be incorporating in my five off 25. And I've seen several people having issues with that coupon where it's only taking off a small amount. I think I know how to do it correctly, but we're gonna test it tomorrow. So stay tuned for my Saturday five off 25 haul. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye.